Hello students, welcome to another lesson of bar graph. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about static bar graph. In the last video, I showed you the difference between the dynamic bar chart and the static bar chart. So I'm just going to revise it again before going into the details about the static bar chart. Now the static bar chart, as I told you earlier in the earlier video, that it contains the data points belonging to a single time frame. It will be for one year, one month, or you will not find any time reference at all in the graph. Whereas the dynamic graph is very much similar to the line graph and it is for a period of time from one time to another time. You need to understand the difference in order to write a correct essay because the way you write the description depends on what chart is it. If it is a dynamic chart, you know what vocabulary you are going to use. I already mentioned it in my previous video. And if it is a static chart, today I will show you what vocabulary you will use. The structure will be the same for all the uh, writing task once. Okay, all the writing question one has the similar structure. So today I'll be showing you the vocabulary which you can use to describe the static chart. Now look at this static bar graph. Do you see any time reference here? No, there is no time reference at all. You have keywords, boys and girls. You have the activities like art and craft, books, computer games, DVDs, going to the park and sports. These are the activities done by boys and girls. And you have the percentages from 0% to 30%. But in the graph, you don't see any time reference. You don't have any time period here. So it is a static bar graph. Let's look at another one. Look at this static bar graph. This one has a time reference, but it is only for one year, which is 2009. It shows the expenditure of selected categories in four countries, US, Canada, UK, and Japan in 2009. So it is for a single period of time. So it is again a static bar graph. So either you will have one time period or you will have no time period at all in the static graph. Now, let's check again the difference between static and dynamic so that you don't get confused when you are writing in the exam. In the static graph, on your left, you see there's only one time frame, which is the year 2007. But when you look at the dynamic graph, it is between 2010 and 2012. So from one time period to another time period. So the first step in writing the graph is you need to check the time frame. You need to check if it is a dynamic or a static. If it is dynamic, use the words increase, decrease, decline, everything. If it is a static chart, then you have to use a different vocabulary. The static chart describes how things are similar and different, big or small, in one time period, how they are similar, how they are different, how they are big and small. This is what is shown in the static chart. But in the dynamic chart, it is shown how things go up and down, change over the period, stay the same, fluctuate and all. Okay, this is the basic difference between the static and the dynamic. The static chart shows how things are same and different, big and small, whereas the dynamic shows how things go up and down and change or stay the same. Now look at this graph. Which country has the highest level of population? and which con pollution sorry and which country has the lowest level of pollution if your answer is usa for question one and new zealand for question two it's correct now we are comparing which one is high which one is low same or different we are comparing here that is what we do in a static chart so the highest level of pollution is in usa and the lowest level of pollution is in New Zealand. 
right now let's look at the vocabulary you can use to describe a static chart now in order to describe the static chart this is the language you use if you see the numbers are same you will use the word exactly the same almost the same uh, absolutely the same equal to identical to the same as these are the vocabulary you will use that means the number of boys who enjoy playing computer games is the same as the number of girls or not the same as the number of girls which is about and you will write the number there if the amount is not clear you don't know if it is 30 35 36 if you are not clear about it you use the words approximately or roughly almost about nearly around and if it is exactly something you will say exactly if some if the activities or percentage of one is more than the other for example the number of boys who play the game is more than the number of girls or number of boys who read the books is more than the number of girls then you can say more than well over just above just over a little more than a large proportion a significant majority and if it is less you use the words less than well below just below just under slightly less than small proportion and insignificant minority you basically compare if there are two genders boys and girls men and women you basically compare who is better in doing or who enjoys doing it more than the other one so static chart basically compares the things how they are similar and how they are different so the comparison language you will use is more you will use a noun and than the example is given here more females than more males than female chose the TV more boys than girls play computer games more girls than boys do prefer to do arts and crafts so when you are comparing who do it more boys or girls if boys do it more more boys than girls male and female more males than females more students than teachers more doctors than engineers that's how you compare based on the keywords given in the question you will also use the adjectives er and than for example the price of an apartment was lower in 1964 than 1999 so the boys who preferred to play computer games was lower in the first week than in the second week you compare it like that fewer and then fewer females than males chose TV the first one more and then fewer and then are the similar more or less you can use with adjective the TV was more popular among the males than females the TV was less popular among the males than females so you will use more less high low highest lowest more most like that okay this is the vocabulary the most or the least the most popular form of communication was internet the least popular form of communication is writing letters nowadays right the adjective with est the fastest means of communication is email the slowest means of communication is letter as many males as females chose the computer not as many males as females chose the radio so these are the comparison language you will use when you are writing the sentences you don't write it like a dynamic chart where you will say the number of boys increased uh, significantly in the year 1999 you don't write like that you compare you compare the boys with the girls you compare one activity with the other activity I'll show you the graph and explain to you there also but learn this language and use this language don't use increase decrease decline all those things in the static chart 
what is the static chart if it is for one time period or there is no time reference at all so you need to identify and then decide which vocabulary you are going to use let's look at some more vocabulary or some more uh, grammar which can be used in describing a static graph now these are the useful structures when you are making comparisons and contrast differences if you are writing about similarities and differences this is the language you use however in contrast on the other hand while whereas like that and the other structures more than less than uh, as good as as bad as twice as much as thrice as much as slightly more than so this is the sentence structure which you can use when you are describing a static graph let's look at the bar graph structure the structure is similar as i told you for all the writing question ones you will begin with your introduction and overview combined in one paragraph the introduction you know you will paraphrase a question and write it that will be your introduction overview you will look at the graph and see but here you will not see increase or decrease you will see more or less most or least and then in the body paragraphs the similar trends you will write in one paragraph the different one you will write in another paragraph let's look at the graph here you have an example graph is it a dynamic or a static is the first question you need to first ask this question to yourself when you start writing don't immediately start writing first look at the graph and decide which one it is now we don't see any time reference here at all so it is a static what are the keywords australians and new zealanders and what are the other keywords given here art and craft books computer games dvds going to the park and sports and units of measurement is percentages 0 to 30% now let's see how we are going to write this graph now let's see how to write it you have a graph here which is different from the one which i showed you in the previous slide now this graph shows information about the activities that new zealand children enjoy doing in 2007 so what is the time reference only one period so it's a static chart very clear what does it shows the information about activities what are the activities arts and crafts reading books playing computer games watching movies dvds are nothing but watching movies going to the park and sports these are all the free time or the recreational activities now let's see how we are going to paraphrase it to write the introduction what is the question the graph name of the graph is not given and i told you that when the name of the graph is not given and when you are paraphrasing it write the name the graph is given no so if it is a bar graph you will say the bar graph in the question if it is given the bar graph change it to the bar chart and in the question if it is given the bar chart change it to the bar graph what is the next word below you will not write the word below because you are not going to draw the chart below so omit that word next word is shows change it to the synonym illustrates explains displays gives information demonstrates any one what you can use so we have used in here illustrates okay information about the activities what kind of activities are there free time activities what is the synonym for this recreational and the activity can be hobbies so preferred recreational hobbies of whom of new zealand children and what is the age of the children 5 to 9 this is your introduction now let's write overview when you write the overview here you will say overall who do the activity the most and who do it the least you will not say increase or decrease here now when you look at the chart the girls do the art and craft the most and boys the sports red is for girls and blue is for boys remember so which activity most of the girls like to do arts and crafts drawing and making things and which activity boys like the most sports now when you look at the activities there are some indoor activities and there are some outdoor activities means 
uh, which you do it outside like going to the park you need to go out sports outside so boys are the highest in the outside activities outdoor activities arts and crafts you do it at home inside reading books inside playing computer games inside and watching movies also inside so these are the indoor activities who do it more the girls let's write the overview overall what do girls enjoy they enjoy drawing and making things the synonym for art and craft is drawing and making things the most you have you seen the highlighted word the most we don't write here increased or higher number like that we see the most now which is the most enjoyed activity by the boys sports so whereas boys enjoyed playing sports the most okay now in addition who like to do more indoor activities and who likes to do more outdoor activities obviously boys like more outdoor activities so in addition boys were more likely to do outdoor activities whereas girls were more involved in indoor activities now remember not every time you will have two things to write in the overview you only write the most and the least that will be enough but here we have the most and the least and then we have the outdoor and indoor that's why we have written the overview like that otherwise if you simply write the highest or the uh, oh, the girls enjoy drawing and making things the most and going to park and sports the least on the other hand boys enjoy going to the park and sports the most arts and crafts and reading book the least you can write the overview like that also okay now let's move on to write the body paragraphs there are two ways of writing the body paragraph you can write for boys in one paragraph and girls in one paragraph it's fine or you can divide the key features arts and craft books and computers in one paragraph dvds going to the park and sports in another paragraph whichever the way is easy for you do that for the example i have written boys in one paragraph girls in another paragraph now for boys what is the most popular activity it was doing sports and how much percentage of boys enjoy that approximately 28 why we wrote approximately because we do, it's not exact so i have given you the words to use in if it is not exact approximately nearly about almost like that now you also observe that when we are starting the paragraph we are not saying according to the chart like how we used it in the bar chart here you can use it for boys for girls turning to the boys talking about the boys talking about the girls you can write it this way also and how we started the most popular activity what is it doing sports how much percentage 28 next what is the next a quarter of the boys why we are saying quarter of the boys quarter means the one fourth of something 100 if you take what is the half of 100 50 and the half of 50 is quarter okay 25% is quarter 50% is half and 3 quarters and full so instead of writing 25% it is written a quarter of the boys you can write 25% also it will not be wrong but just to have the new vocabulary included we have written a quarter so a quarter here means 25% of the boys enjoy visiting parks and what is the next one the third one is video games and watching movies which is the same for boys how much 15% so 15% of the boys enjoy playing computer games and watching movies dvds are nothing but the watching movies they buy the dvds and they watch the movies at home and what is the least popular activity you wrote about the most popular with the percentages now what is the least popular the least popular activity for the boys is arts and crafts and reading so you first wrote here reading how much is it for reading 10% and how much is for arts and crafts 7% respectively so basically you compare you write the most popular and you write the 
least popular activities in the most popular you write the first one first with the highest percentage followed by the next second percentage and the third percentage okay now turning to the girls next paragraph is about girls the highest proportion of the girls enjoy what arts and crafts and how much it is 25 percent and it is followed by what is the next highest it is reading and watching movies how much is it reading and watching movies is by 10 percent and 17 percent okay then the proportion who played video games was only 15 percent only 15 percent girls like to play the video game and the least percentage is going to the park which is nearly 12 percent going to the park and playing sports is only 12 percent so you write the highest the second highest the third and the lowest then same way you go for another uh, keyword or another uh, uh, main feature and you write the highest the lowest and the second highest and the second and the least and when you look at it it is coming to around 157 words and that's perfectly all right for your essay because you will have uh, in the exam for IELTS it is 25 minutes or 20 minutes only but for your exam you will have 35 minutes or 25 minutes to do this and 45 minutes for the second task okay so pause the video look at the bar graph and compare it with the written sample and on the next slide I'm giving you another sample you can write on it and check it yourself to see how much you understood describing the static bar chart here is it it is showing for one time period which is 2008 and it shows the estimated world illiteracy rate by region and by gender we already discussed this in class and I explained to you what is illiteracy rate it means people who don't know how to read and write and it is male and female so there are uh, six states you can when you are writing the body paragraphs you can write male in one paragraph female in another paragraph or developed countries latin america and east asia in one paragraph south africa uh, arab states and south asia in another paragraph both the ways it is fine to paraphrase here it is given the chart you can say the bar graph below you will delete because you are not going to draw shows becomes illustrates and change estimated means the percentage or the approximate world illiteracy illiteracy you can again write the rate of people or the percentage of ma male and female who do not who cannot read and write by regions you can in the brackets write the regions uh, for the year 2008 and then you can write the main features overall where is the first tell me where is the illiteracy rate higher the highest number of illiterates the the, the the illiteracy rates is the highest in south africa arab states and south asia and who is the in which gender has more illiterates females there are more female illiterates than the male or more females are illiterates than the males and then you will write about the males in one paragraph and females in another paragraph try writing this and the next one this one also we have already discussed in the class it is the chart uh, which shows the expenditure of uh, four countries in the gross domestic product in, in on housing food transportation healthcare and clothing so this is about the static bar chart the only difference is the language so go back to the video learn the language and try to write one or two graphs on your own and you'll be good to go so these are the references from where i took this information all the very best for the exam and if you have any doubts you can uh, always write in the comment section and do share it with your friends so that they will also find it helpful okay Till the next video, take care. Bye-bye.